What's going on YouTube? This your boy Corey T and I'm back with another video. Uh, thank you for watching the first video for all the people who did. Um, appreciate the support. Don't forget to follow, subscribe, like, comment, share, do whatever you got to do. Um, I do have two comments from the last video. Uh, let me get right into it. Do you have to file taxes if you share, I mean, if you sell a share, but made like 56 cent or anything under a hundred bucks? Um, I think uh, Cash App, if I'm not mistaken, take out a cut anyways of government fees so i believe they are taxing already so i don't think you technically have to file that on your taxes don't quote me on that hold on don't quote me on that i think we still need to do our research if anybody out there know if you need to file these on your tax let let us know because right now <clears throat> well also i just started this year so my taxes wouldn't even this wouldn't even relate to the taxes that are now so this would be way further down the line Anywho, uh also so yeah i don't know about that one um we have to do more research uh i had another person who said i really need help putting money into the right investment to gain money within days i'm soon to be homeless and need help okay uh ooh. all right so for one i would not invest in cash app and stocks if you are down to your last thing you are about to be homeless so i just want to say that that's my personal advice um in regards to in the investment investment side um yeah i wouldn't invest in cash shop because i mean i i've gained i gained a couple of dollars here and there uh so it's kind of like up in the air also cash shop they go up they go down they go up and go down so with that being said i'll be kind of careful i wouldn't invest my money thinking i'm it's not a get rich quick type of scheme however i did find the stock that i was messing with and they kind of gave me the boot so check it out uh let me get to the app here so scroll down and scroll down to version mobile galactic right i was up you see i was negative 20 right now so right now i got in a hundred dollars invested i was up twenty dollars at one point so i sold it right then i bought it again and i sold it again and what was crazy was what was crazy was i was tagging i was like tagging because it'll go up and then it drop back down and it go back up but the the moment it went up i sold it and went down i bought it when it went back up i sold it and i, I had already sold a couple other stocks that same day and i end up getting a message saying uh i'll put it on the screen i end up getting a message saying hey you reach your trading limit for the day so don't think this is this is for my people don't think you can just get on here and put your money in stock go up you take your money out put your money in, and keep doing it because then you get a certain amount of times you can actually do it so that's how they get you and i think that's how they was able to regulate you know the the penny pinchers as i would call it that's what i am i like to put money there let it build and take it out because essentially i don't want to lose my money because right now what i'm at negative 53 come on man I'm, i ain't mad about it because i don't went up and went down but it's at a point that you know i rather make money than lose money that's anybody so you know how that go also uh what else um i had invested in sono group uh i came up a good little penny um sono and coinbase and user tests and i had invested when it was a low price and it eventually when i cashed out i, I know i said i was gonna hold on my stops but when it cashed out i had 300 dollars. i didn't want to lose it so i cashed out and my 3.7 i had went up to 4 4k and then uh, I forgot what else happened after that to get me to 43. But I wish I would have uh, kind of recorded that those moments. But I was at work. And once again, Cash App is a, you know, 9, 9.30 to 4 o'clock type thing, 4.30 type thing. So you got to really be on it. Um, and I didn't want to screen record, especially not knowing what I was screen recording at work. But uh, with that being said, yeah. Uh, another thing I wanted to touch on was you really have to watch the chart um, when i say charts like before you invest this is my this is me this before i invest i go to the stock let's let's look at coinbase i go to the stock i'm looking at the lowest point for the day the lowest point for the day was at one one eighty sixty one everybody follow one eighty sixty one what's the lowest point for the week lowest point for the week was might have been uh, they're not showing me they're playing with me it's a gap 
It went from 11 to 11.30 to 10.30. So for the week, they got an average. That's what they're doing. They, they put an average of 183. And then for the month, what's the lowest for the month? 163. So it, it dropped. So you got 163. And then in one day, it went down to 180, whatever. 180. And then for the year, what's the lowest been? Oh, I bought it at a good time. Y'all see that? Uh, <laughs> it was at 177. So as you see, I put my 177 in. It shot up. I got out of there, made a profit. It is what it is. So that was, I should have just held on to it. But I, I can't, I don't put my faith in stocks like that. I, I'm playing around with it. But I can't put my faith in stocks. Um, right now, I'm at negative $3.95. Not too bad. Uh, one thing I learned and one thing that I uh, think you should, guys should pay attention to is, like I said, don't get caught up in the negative signs. Coinbase was up $10 yesterday. Now it's not. Whatever. Uh, Sono Group was up a couple cents. Now it's not. User, user testing was up and now it's not again. And then version Galactic, I I kind of regret getting that one because I thought it was going up, but that was just a, it was just a, uh, I went out on that ledge on on that one. I should say I just kind of messed around because I was like, if it get ten, if it get the ten dollars, then I'm gonna buy in because I don't want it to shoot up and then miss out on it. But then I bought in and it went down, so you kind of play play the role, kind of gamble with it. It is what it is. Um. Most people say, well, what at what point do you take your money out? You don't you don't lose until you take your money out if you're in the negatives. Right now, what you could do is or what I what I would do is I see that let's go to version. Version Galactic Holdings. All right. So the lowest is at right now is at eight forty. It dropped today at eight twenty four. When I feel like it's at a low point, I need to technically invest more money into it so I can bounce that negative kind of balance it out I, if i put a hundred dollars in and it's at the lowest point it's not going to take away my negative 20 that i potentially lost i need to put a large amount uh where it is going to overpower the hundred dollars that i put in in a sense so i technically need to almost double triple how much i put in just to make my money back most people don't like that because they're like wait a minute if i'm already down negative 20 you're telling me to put in more money yeah, technically. Sorry. Um, that's that's how I was looking at it uh, when I was playing around with it. And that's the best way to go. However, I'm the type of person, if I'm down, I'm not going to keep putting money into something. I'm going to let it ride out. Let us see, see what's going to do. Because like I said, I don't put nothing in and I'm not willing to lose. It is what it is. Now, what I will tell you is if Virgin Galactic hit negative 40, I'm out of there because you ain't forget my whole hundred. I, I don't play about my money. I, I play about my money, but I don't play about my money. You ain't forget my whole hundred. So I'm going to see what they do in the next week or two. You also got, you know, your different stock forecasts that uh, uh, that you can look at online. Um, that's one thing I've been checking out, too. Uh, I just go on Google, type in, let's say, Sono Group uh, for, uh, stock forecast, and it give you predictions, give you the highest, give you the lows. It's all kind of stuff out there for you to help you with your stocks. Um, most people come to my video because I keep it real. I'm not finna sugarcoat nothing. I've been, like I said, I'm just like you. I just want to see how it works. I want to get into it. I'm not scared to get into it. Most people are. So, you know, they just try to see what it's like. Uh, me personally, when I made that $300 from the other few stocks that I sold, man, my, go back to the first video. I'm telling you, I had all kind of stocks. and as you see, I'm down to one, two, three, four, five. I'm down to six stocks. And simply because I I feel like I figured it out. Uh, when you buy in and they go up and they go down, don't panic. Please don't panic. You see me? I'm, I'm calm. I'm, I'm relaxed. You feel me? Like negative three, negative three, negative five, negative six, negative 13, negative 20. Not tripping at all because tomorrow or I'm talking tomorrow, next week, uh, Nine times out of ten, it'll go up, it'll go down. It honestly, looking at the charts on a daily basis, especially if not day trading uh, for real, for real, it'll stress you out. I'm be honest, I'm be honest, it'll stress you out only because you'll see it go up, you'll see it go down. When you see it go up, and you're like, oh my gosh, should I cash out? It's like a dollar. I made a dollar. Should I cash out? 
technically, man, just let it ride. Just see what's going to happen. Because when I had Sonar Group and it was up like $30, I was like, wait a minute. I ain't never see it go up that high. So it kind of threw me off. And uh, now looking back at it, I probably should have. Let's see if I did a good sale. So I did a purchase there. Oh, no, that's my last. So, uh, so right, right here. here. And then I and then I did two trades right there. So I technically should have held on to it. But if I didn't sell it, it would have dropped back down. As you see, the week went on. It would have dropped back down. I would have been back to basically where I started. And who wants that? That's why I cashed out. <laughs> I took the money and ran. So um, with that being said, that's how, that's how I was moving. Uh, one thing I do want to say is I still disagree with the people that say, oh, you can make $1,000 a month. No, you can't, bro. I'm telling you right now, if you're not investing $20,000, you ain't making no $1,000 a month and no cash out. I seen a video of a guy, he had 14000 in, no disrespect for him. He had 14000 15000 or 14000 in, and he was negative 4000 and negative $5,000. And I'm like, bro, what are you doing? Like, you done invested basically a lot of money, and you are negative a lot of money. So it's like, what do you really go off of, and how are you trying to bounce back me personally i can't invest that much in because by that time if i'm investing ten thousand i could invest ten thousand in something else that potentially could give me more money um that's just me because i'd have got some connections just i need the money in order to make the connection connect <laughs> but uh yeah so that's my update um y'all i appreciate y'all rocking with me uh that's what it is that's what it is. And then, I, like I said, I'll get into another video where I actually show different breakdowns and uh, of how I really, really look at the chart. I, I gave you kind of an overview, like scrolling with the right and stuff and looking at different, you know, stocks. But I'll show you exactly what I do in regards to uh, trying to pick a stock. I think that's my next video. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you guys how I pick a stock and how I determine. So with that being said, this is your boy Corey T. I'm out.